Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is me, Hush Prajwal, and today it's a quick tutorial on how you can potentially save a little bit of money when using Uniswap on Ethereum. For example, if you are making transactions on Uniswap, what you want to do is you want to wrap your ETH, right? So for example, what you want to do is you want to convert your ETH to wrapped ETH, which is basically ETH, but it's wrapped. And what happens is this saves you, um, saves you a little bit on every transaction. So for example, I want to purchase some chain link using my ETH. So if I swap, it's showing me 16, 16 chain link, confirm swap. As you can see, it's showing me $108 for gas fees, right? So what I'm going to do now is I have a little bit of wrapped ETH with me. So I'm going to change that to wrapped ETH and chain link. For example, 16 chain link. And assuming your slippage is not very high, for example, I leave that to 1%. And if I go and swap, confirm swap. As you can see, it's cost me $77. Now that's $30 difference just there, right? And sometimes it's even less than $70. Maybe the traffic is very high or the condition is very high at the moment. So what you want to do is, for example, right? But for every transaction, you still need ETH. You cannot pay for transactions using wrapped ETH. You still need ETH. So for example, what I do is every time I get a big chunk of ETH into my wallet to make transactions or to purchase something, what I do is I leave some for gas fees. For example, if I plan on doing a lot of transactions and the market is hot, then I I, I should be expecting to pay at least 60 to $70 minimum for transaction, right? If I'm willing to trade, but I try not to trade very frequently, especially when the market is very hot. I try to plan my transactions and only take profits and I try not to actively trade on Uniswap. Um, but if I do, I always, whenever I transfer a big chunk, what I do is if I transfer a thousand dollars, what I do is out of thousand dollars, at least 600 to 650, I transfer or I, I wrap that as a wrapped ETH or I swap it for wrapped ETH and I'll leave that 300 for the transaction fees. For example, as you can see, I have around 0.1 835 wrapped ETH with me. So this is for me to purchase or uh, uh, invest in any of the projects and I have some ETH, $428 ETH. This is just for the transaction fees, just in case I have to sell something or purchase. Something. I know it's ridiculous, but unfortunately some of the coins are only on Uniswap that I want to purchase or sell. So uh, if I purchase something, I want to make sure, I always make sure that it is good, invest good investment or I am buying that for a bit of a long-term gains. Uh, it's it's almost impossible to swing trade on Uniswap if you are not a big investor, unless you are playing thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, swing trading is not a possibility, but this process will save you a lot of gas fees, um, as you've seen. All right, so that's how you can save a little bit of gas fees by using Uniswap on ETH Layer 1. If you have any other suggestions or if you know any other tips and tricks to save on gas fees, please let me know in the comments below so that I can make another update or another guide which can be helpful for a lot of people that use Uniswap and uh, make these transactions. And if you have any suggestions, please leave in the comments as well regarding any video or regarding this channel. And if, as always, if this was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more guides and tutorials on crypto. Until then, you have a nice day and thank you for being here.